Good afternoon, YouTube. Got a slightly longer video than I believe some of you are used to seeing around here. Gonna still be posting shorts, of course, but I definitely wanted to bring some long form content as well. On today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning the SNS kettle. Um, always keep your grill covered. Even though it's made with a really good enamel, I don't like my grill just being exposed to the elements. So I always keep her covered. And then the first thing I do is grab this little ash catcher here. It normally gets pretty full from like previous cooks. You don't have to change it all the time. Um, maybe like once every two or three cooks. And then the same thing goes for the ash. Um, the SNS does a very good job at putting itself out. So once I close up all the ports, I will most likely always be left with some coals that didn't get fully like used. And we'll leave those at our base and we'll just add hot coals on top of it. So always a go-to for me. You can purchase a drip catcher from um, SNS website, but I'm a you know cheap first time homeowner, really not looking to spend too much money. So I actually catch all of my drippings with aluminum foil. Hey, that's the way I see my dad do it. And that's probably the way your grandpa did it. So I just, like I said, wrap my grate in foil. Um, and that's basically how I catch all of my drippings. Next, I take a grill brush and just get all the drippings that might have fallen along the grill bed. I get any ash that might be stuck there. And um, one thing I love about the SNS kettle are these five blades here. As I spin these blades, all the ash and debris falls into that catcher that I showed you guys previously. Um, so like I said before, I wrap this up in a foil, get this placed back in here. And then um, what I'll do for you all is I'll show you guys a video on how to light um, your SNS grill next. Um, so that'll be in the next video. I'll maybe leave a link for that or a little pinger for that somewhere around there. But we're already basically done cleaning the grill. Next thing I'm going to do is move around some of these coals because like I said, I cooked a couple of days ago and I didn't want to do this before I cleaned out the ash catcher because it might have been full and I didn't want the ash to overflow. Another really nice thing I love about the SNS grill is that you can actually spin the entire grate. So if you're ever in a panic or you're scrambling around and the flame's too hot, you can literally rotate your meat off the flame. And it also makes adding coal to the grill while you're cooking a lot easier.